So I want to talk today about the potential for maze of memories. He does not create a maze, but he definitely helps us catch mazes and catches us a girlfriend maybe one day. I don't know. He's he's flaccid. I'm flaccid. Uh, I'm just kidding. We're hard. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so that you too can be hard as we continue to climb up the 1K ladder. I'm not feeling very well. Uh, if you haven't been keeping up with the channel, then you may not know I've been off of my Wellareg medication. Well, I was off of it for eight days. Wellareg is the name of my cancer medication. And it's it's really messed with me. Like tonight, I've got a really bad headache. So I'm sorry if I'm not in like the joyous of moods and we're hard and making jokes out of our holes. <laughs> all that aside, thank you all so much for all the support on the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, so hopefully after a couple of days, I'll be kind of back to my usual self. So I ask that you bear with me. So um, I want to talk about Maze of Memories and the potential for this set we're already getting a Baroness to Fleur reprint, which is absolutely amazing. We've seen Baroness go to like $70 to $75 a piece because of the reprint. Now, keep in mind that we're not getting Maze of Memories until around like March March 9th or something, like 2023. But there is a lot of good things in there that are being pointed over from the OCG. We're going to wake up your Elemental Hero, which is like an, an amazing OTK boss monster for heroes. Helps them OTK even more than, excuse me, what they could before which is always good. I feel like heroes need more than just OTK based monsters. They need like Omni negates and things like that. But I mean, that's for any deck that wants to be good in Yu-Gi-Oh. I still think that heroes can be a decent rogue pick. If you saw my uh, meta tier list from yesterday, I had to think about the name of the video. I'm sorry. Um, so we're getting wake up your elemental hero. And then we're also getting retrains of old Yu-Gi-Oh cards like Wall Shadow. Wall Shadow was spotted in the pack picture. And so a lot of people are speculating what that retrain could be. Of course, we're also getting the obvious thing, new Gate Guardian support with a brand new Gate Guardian fusion monster, potentially multiple Gate Guardian fusion monsters. And we're going to be getting into all that in just a minute here. But I want to focus on some of these other cards and what we could see. We're also getting the Infernity support that's over in the OCG. We're getting the Return of the Reaper spell, which is an Infernity. It's always treated as an Infernity card. It's not that good. It's, it's kind of liquid ass. Um, we also have some other cards being poured over from the OCG. We've got the Trap card that summons Supreme King Dragon Zark. It's good in Dinomorphia, but that's really about it. Uh, Zark's effects are negated, so it's kind of like, why play it other than to cut your life points in half if you're playing Dinomorphia? Still a very interesting card regardless. But what's interesting is that they are doing a retrain of Wall Shadow, most likely because the picture was spotted on the pack, art, the pack artwork. And it also makes me wonder, are they going to do a retrain of something like Labyrinth Wall? Now, if you didn't watch the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters anime, then you wouldn't know that when Yugi and Joey went against the Paradox Brothers, you would not know that they played the card Labyrinth Wall, and then they had to walk through a maze in order to beat the Paradox Brothers. So what if we saw something similar to that where they did a retrain of Labyrinth Wall where it's still a level 5, a 0 attack, and 3,000 offense, but it has, you know, some interesting effect involving a maze, or it gives support to, like, you know, Gate Guardian, like Sangha, the Thunder, Kazijin, and Suijin. You know, those three monsters on their own aren't that good, and I think that they do need retrains. The only thing that those three Gate Guardian piece monsters do is just change monsters attack to zero whenever they're attacked. That's all that it does on a quick effect. And they all have like the same stats, like 25, 2600 attack. Then of course you have the big ass Gate Guardian, but Gate Guardian is just a basically a vanilla beat stick with almost 4000 attack. So I think what they should do for these fusion monsters, I think what would be really interesting is if they allow them to be fused with a fusion spell, either an in-house Gate Guardian fusion spell or like something generic like polymerization or, or I should say, and or you give them the option to, um, fuse with contact fusing. I'm sorry, I'm really losing my train of thought today. I don't know what's with me. Um, but you allow them to contact fuse and giving them both of those options 
would be very interesting because what if you could combine the two? You know, what if you have Senga of the Thunder on the field, but then you have the other two pieces in your hand, so you contact fuse that way, or you use polymerization to fuse those three that way? You know, it would be really interesting to see what they could do with it, and then they do other pieces. So, for example, you have the three monsters that create Gate Guardian. That could be a fusion monster that summons Gate Guardian from the hand deck or graveyard when it leaves the field ignoring the summoning conditions. But then what if you had a fusion monster specifically that required Kazajin and Suijin, or Kazajin and Sangha the Thunder, uh, Suijin and Sangha the Thunder? You know, kind of like XYZ Dragon Cannon, where it has all of its different types, you know, YZ Tank Cannon, X XY Tank Cannon, you know, things like that. I think that that would be really, really cool, and it would also give uh, a reason to play those three monsters. Now, I do think what we should also get is, like, gadget-esque types of the Gate Guardian support monsters. It's so like, what if we saw like level four baby versions of Sangha of the Thunder, Kazijin, and Suijin that could like tutor out the big monsters? Like those are like the dads and then like the little level fours are like the kids so they can tutor out the big versions. I think that that would be really cool because then you're summoning Sangha of the Thunder with just one card. You're summoning a level four tribute to summon Sangha of the Thunder, kind of like a baby dragon for the dragon rulers, if that makes sense. There's so many different ways that they could go about it. Even combining like some of the old support cards with these new cards, you know, in order to summon, well, rather special summon wall shadow, you had to tribute a labyrinth wall equipped with like a certain equipped spell that only worked with labyrinth wall. And then wall shadow was basically just like a 3000 beat stick with like 1500 defense. So what if the retrain could like, I don't know, you ditch a gate guardian piece to pop a card or ditch any card to pop a card. Or if gate guardians on the field, you can bring it back from the grave if it's sent there. Like, the, the possibilities, I feel, are endless. Now, is this going to be like a tier one deck or anything? No, I don't see that happening. Unless Konami just really opens up the floodgates and just completely just turns Gate Guardian on its head. And we get like this insane boss monster with like 4,000 attack and defense that's an Omni Negate and is unaffected by card effects. That would be really interesting. But I just don't feel like we're going to get that level of support. Uh, and it's unfortunate. But, I mean, at the same time, this is Gate Guardian we're talking about. And who knows? Maybe they'll give it future support down the line. But Maze of Memories is the starting point. Not to mention, you know, the collector's rares that we may get, which may include Gate Guardian or even Baroness de Fleur. Or even just reprints of other cards besides Baroness. Really, the possibilities are endless. Uh, I think that... Oh, another card too. I think they might do a retrain of Labyrinth Tank because if you watch that duel where the Paradox Brothers go against Yugi and Joey, they use Labyrinth Tank. So what if we see a Labyrinth Tank retrain? That would be really cool. What if we saw a Gate Guardian monster that had three individual effects like the actual Gate Guardian did, you know, spewing out water across the maze to take out all the monsters that, you know, were hurt by the water. You know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. And I just wanted to pose that question to you guys today. Um, like I said, I'm just sort of out of whack tonight. I don't know what's with me. I can't concentrate. It might just be the medication and my headache too. But guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that we could see uh, something go crazy with this Gate Guardian support? Or do you think it's just going to sort of be a fart in the wind? So guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.